more blocks menu. As you see, there are no blocks here yet. But you can create your own block and then use it in your scripts wherever you want. Let's say we want the cat. Jump 10 steps up, wait a little bit and go back down. Click make a block. Give it a name. It should tell you what this block does. Let's call this one jump. We will talk about options a bit later. For now we will just make a simple block. Now let's add contents to the block. The block is ready. Let's check how it works. Yeah, the cat's jumping. Now we can use it in our script. Like this. Or like this. But what if we want a different jump? That's why there are options. We can create a new block, or we can just edit this one. Right-click on it, Edit. Options. We want to add a number input. Recall what input means. We used this term when we worked with LEGO V2. Let's give it a name. Just remember, if you already use this block in your script, it also will change in these places. Um, we can use this height number to tell the sprite how many steps it should make. We will use it just like a variable. Drop it instead of numbers in our motion blocks. To make it negative, use the operators. Now let's change the number here, where we use our block. By default there will be number 1 here. But let's say we want the cat jump 50 steps now. We can add another number input for delay. Just ignore this part or delete it. And use it here. Now let's see. Upper. You see, we have just one script for jump, but we can ask the cat to make different jumps. If you want to delete this block, first you will have to remove all users, all the places where we do this, and then you can delete the block itself. 